A. Genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona, with fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher, Professor Yesuresh back with sheer ecstasy, with the curiosity of an infant to learn unknowns for my 196 video, 196, on Unreal of Publication on YouTube today, 17th November 2022, Thursday. The topic for today is, is there any necessity to visit places of worship? Ask. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worthy of a femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal, so we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever, having published 196 videos so far, including this one, for the benefit of society, the two absolutely free. Worship. The word is derived from the old English via, via Skype, meaning to venerate, worship, honor, shown to an object which has been etymologized as worthiness or worship to give, at its simplest, worth of something, show devotion to a deity, attend religious services, love unquestionably and uncritically or to excess, venerate as an idol. The activity of worshipping, a feeling of profound love, profound love and admi admiration. It may involve one or more activities such as veneration, adoration, praise and prayer. For many, worship is not about an emotion, it is more about a recognition of a god or gods. Contemporary worship uses contemporary worship music in an informal setting. Places of worship are places where there is a deity to worship. Basically places where religious services are performed for Hindus, temples, for Christians, churches, for Muslims, mosques. Idolatry. Idolatry is a worship of a cult image or you know the cult, okay. cult image or idol as though it, it were God, practiced by Hindus and Christians. Muslims do not worship idols. Idolatry has been considered as a worship of false gods. In many Hindu religions, Indian religions which include both theistic and non-theistic branches of Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism, idols, murti are considered as symbolism for the absolute but not the absolute are icons of spiritual ideas or the embodiment of the divine. The opposition to the use of any icon or image to represent ideas of reverence or worship is called aniconism. The destruction of images as icons of veneration is called iconoclasm and this has long been accompanied with violence between religious groups that forbid idol worship and those who accepted icons, images and statues for veneration. Creature worship. In contrast with worship of a creature or deity, the theological term creature worship refers unflatteringly to veneration of that which is created. Creature worship may include animal worship, animism, cult of personality, household deity, idolatry, nature worship and or pantheism. Creature worship is part of the Hindu faith and this is based on the theory of karma and the principle of rebirth. With a goal to achieve nirvana, the soul experiences rebirth in the form of different creatures. It is thus accepted to worship nature in all of its elements because it signifies respect for the environment as well as the worship for one's ancestors. Example worship in pig, monkey, fish forms. Vishnu, okay, elephant form, Ganesha. Snake, Amman, even rat, etc. Reasons for visiting places of worship. Temples. I am going to talk about temples mainly. The location and structure. Positive energy is available abundantly within the from the magnetic and electric wave con con conveyances of north, south, post push. The idol of God of God is set in the center, core center of the temple known as Garbhagraga. Uh, Murasthana. Ideally, the structure of the temple is built after the idol has been placed in a high, positive, wave-centric place. This Murasthanam is a place where 
Earth's magnetic waves are discovered to be most extreme. Mind focus or meditation. Five senses of human body are sight, hearing, touch, taste and smell. These are activated by the following actions in the temple. The positive energy in the temple is absorbed properly only if you ensure that all the five senses are activated in your body while you are in the temple. Also, the place of worship is said to be pleased only if you, your five senses are pleased. Ringing the temple bell when you enter the temple. Hearing sound sense activated. Lighting camphor in front of the idol. Sight sense activated. Put your hands over the camphor flame and then touch eyes. Touch sense activated. Offering flowers to God at temple. Smell sense is activated. Drinking tirtha. Taste sense is activated. Sometimes I even bring the uh, brain gets intoxicated because they mix some uh, substances in the teeth, so-called teeth. The whole list is pure myth. Now we'll move on to reality. God is considered to be omnipresent, that is present everywhere. If this is true, why go to so-called places of worship? There is a God within all of us and which can be worshipped anywhere, anytime. The ideal place of worship are serene natural surroundings like forests, hills, where there is hardly any contact with other earthlings, human beings. Places of worship are really a meeting place for elders, a place for business inside the premises or outside, a place for performing marriage ceremonies, a place for deciding a match for adults, matchmaking, a place for free food, a place for beggars to beg for arms, a place for selection of the innocent, a place for so-called priests to loot money in all ways, a place where invaluable antiques are stored, a place for kings to escape from enemies when they are defeated in wars. There will be tunnels linking the palace to the temples and from temples to faraway places. A place for time passing, a place to rest for free, a place for romance, a place for exploitation of these. A place for fashion show. Affluents, affluent ones display their wealth by wearing expensive jewelry, watches, garments, etc. A place for wasting edible food like milk, fruits, vegetable desires, burning, ready to wear garments like saris, dhotis, etc. Either for so called Abhishekam or Homo. A place for caste, race, gender, skin color, economic status, discrimination. A place for development of religious radicals, terrorists, religious fanatics. A place for instigating religious hatred, which ultimately results in undesired communal violence and clashes. A place for forced religious conversions. A place for cursing the general public, visiting these places in a language for performing religious sermons that they don't understand. A place for thieves to roam around and steal. A place for, to force people to accept Sanskrit as a language. That's real bull. A place to make the poor people feel inferior. A place for noise pollution, a place for wastage of energy, especially electricity. As you are aware, this list is certainly not exhaustive. One can worship anywhere, anytime and no necessity to go to a designated place to worship to lose your peace, hard-earned money, invaluable time, precious possessions like expensive jewelry. So I advise people to stay at home and worship the Supreme One for free for any amount of time they desire to in absolute harmony with the, with the One, that is God. Debates, discussion and open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We will meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with closed captions, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today I must have taken hardly about 10, 10 minutes. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attribute to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one that can put a stop, who can put a stop to natural or unnatural events like bio war and cyber war, like pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays the way for apocalypse, 
an extension of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs, resting peace and harmony.